welcome to another Earth Engine tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to publish maps um, with Earth Engine data layers directly within Jupyter Notebook. Okay, let's get started. So here I'm going to show you the uh, what the final maps look like. So we're going to utilize the so-called data pane uh, Python package. If you need more information, you can uh, I will show you later. But this is basically what it looks like at the end. And we're going to publish a map like this. And you have all the Earth Engine data layers here. You can turn on and off. You can also share the, the link with anyone. Um, even if they don't have the Earth Engine uh, account, they can also um, visualize um, the map. You can also embed the map in a social media post or you can put on any website okay so um, let's get started first of all you need to install the gmap python package you have not done this before you can follow my previous tutorial on how to install the package after that you can download the repo or you can uh, clone the git repository uh, because we're going to use the example under the examples folder notebooks number 24 okay so let me just here clone the repo and uh, let me open the um, my file explorer and then we can just uh, use git clone and i'm going to clone this one into uh, my computer and so after that you need to activate your uh, Conda environment and just type Jupyter Notebook and then it's open a notebook on your browser from here we can open the um, the notebooks number 24 In order to publish maps, um, you need to install this Python package. So uh, since I already installed, I can quickly show you um, how to do that. And let me open another uh, command uh, terminal here. So conda activate. And this is the conda environment that I'm working on. And so you can basically just pick install data pane and then hit enter. Since I already installed the package, so um, I don't need to install again. After that, you need to log in to your account. So uh, make sure that you cre uh, create an account here. It's free. So you can create an account using your um, Gmail account or any other email. And once you have the account, you should be able to log into your account to see the token. And so all you need to do is just to come back here and data pane log in hit enter and then paste your token after that you can just uh, use data pane pin to make sure that you uh, are connected to the server okay so i'm successfully connected and then i can come back to here to execute the notebook and um, the purpose of uh, this tutorial is to show you how to publish uh, maps with Earth Engine data layers and and so the data pane currently supports um, some interactive uh, plotting include uh, the folium package so if you see from here like right, plots from some other packages but this is the one that has interactive mapping capability so uh, we're going to use this one keep in mind it does not support ipy leaflet okay so you need to use the folium and i'm going to show you how to do that First of all, you need to import the Earth Engine and then make sure that you import .ee folium as gmap. Don't just type like import gmap because by default, it's going to import IPy leaflet and it won't be able to create a map, a published map. So make sure that you understand that. And let me just uh, clear the output first and to start from the very beginning. So we're going to import the library and after that, this uh, Earth Engine source code here is nothing 
different from the traditional uh, OS engine source code. Uh, if you want more examples, you can go to my GitHub repo and you can go to my uh, first one here, uh, Python Notebooks. Then from here, you can uh, just look through and you can uh, find any Jupyter Notebook you like. Uh, so for example, you can create this a huge sheet. Okay. Because these notebooks are designed to run uh, on Google Colette, so you can all the source code actually are uh, using the uh, EE volume. So as you can see from here, all you need to do is just to copy this one and paste to the notebook. So this is essentially just in here. Um, you can copy and paste any scripts and then come back to here, just paste this one. So in this case, I'm going to just run this one. And after that, uh, you need to make sure that you show the map. So by default, uh, it won't show the layer control. So in here, we, we use the set control visibility to uh, basically show the map and the layer control. So if you see from here, this is what it looks like after what the map looks like. So we have the full screen uh, control, right? We can zoom in, we can zoom up. We also have the layer control. And this is the... Uh, Freezer collection, and this is the map, right? You can turn all the layers on and off, uh, depends on uh, how many layers you, you, you add, right? So and let me return. So after that, all you need is just one line of code to publish the map. Okay, so you call the function called map.publish. If you want to show here the help documentation, you just hit uh, shift uh, tab on your keyboard to bring up the um the tips and here shows you the information for each argument so there are four arguments that you can pass into uh, five that you can pass into this function so the first one is called name and let me show you this one in here so the name is basically what is going to show uh show up on the url so this is this one is the same uh your username and the reports and this is going to be so called the name and this one is called uh, headline so if you come back to here is the second parameter and also you can control the visibility so in here you can after you publish you, by default it's going to be private so you can set to public or you can click here to change the settings and the last one is called overwrite okay so i'm going to show you what does that mean for overwrite overwrite means if you have a map like this uh, if you want to keep this the same URL, you need to use the override. After otherwise, when the map is published, it's going to join a new link. Okay, so let's execute this one. See what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna take a couple of seconds, and then it's going to open the URL. And you see from here, this is the map that right now has been published. And uh, again, this is the URL. This is the headline and the control. So if I come back to here, if I don't use the overwrite, uh, it's called force. And if I run this one again, it's going to publish a new map, but you will notice in here, since I don't overwrite, and because I already have a name existing uh, in your account, it's going to create a new one and then with eight random characters at the end. So make sure that if you um if you want to keep the same url you need to set the override parameter to, to true okay so this is what um it looks like and let me see what else so after that you can you can control in here as so you can change the settings if you want you can turn the layer on and off and after that you can copy this link you can post um, on twitter or any other social media account and it's, it will become interactive so people can be able to go to the link and to visualize the data okay so similarly uh, as i showed you earlier you can create another maps so let me go back to the example i show you uh, earlier uh, not in here so similarly i can do this one right i can copy this and then I can come back to the map in here. So all I need to do is uh, to replace this one. Uh, let me 
you paste in here like paste and everything else pretty much remain the same all you need to do is to here i can change the map so i can say for example right now call g map forium or you can use any name so forium 2 and this one uh what is maybe call usage okay and again uh make sure that you execute the map first and then take a look at the map is it the same one uh not the same let me execute this one and then execute this one uh looks like the map is not Oh, we need to create a map sorry um so let me add another link uh and another cell above and um go back to where uh here so we're going to create another map in here we did this one okay so create a new map and then execute the code then preview the map okay so this is the huge set, another one that we just created you only had two layers okay and from there we can actually this one's publish the map so now you have the new link like right? gmap folium map 2 hue suite right and on and off right? okay so uh, as you can see it's pretty simple and straightforward like right? make sure that uh, you pay attention to this one uh, very important don't use import gmap uh, you need to import the volume because data pen does not support ipy leaflet there so and after that all you need to do is just call this function map.publish passing the name argument uh, headline and vis uh, visibility and whether or not you want to override the existing map or not also uh, beware that all the earth engine data layers um, it's going to um, expire in probably two to three days uh, and you might need to republish again because once those data layer expire when people go to the link they can still see the map but these data layers are uh, earth, uh, earth layer earth engine data layers won't show up so you will just show the base map and that's one thing that's the downside um, because it cannot uh, the data layers are not permanent uh, it's just temporary but at least it was like if you would want to show the map to people um temporarily you can use this way to quickly show the map so in that way people don't have to have an earth engine account and then they can still visualize the map so it's pretty uh straightforward that you can use um Jupyter notebook to publish uh, maps in um directly okay that's all for this video if you enjoyed this uh, video please consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel hope to uh, see you in my next video take care bye bye